Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Today I'm bringing you a short video. And I just wanted to do this because on some of my videos we talk about VBox Manage. And for you Windows users out there, it doesn't work in the same way it works in Linux. And the reason for that is it's not in the path. So when you go to run the command in PowerShell, it gives you an error just like the one you see on your screen right now. So let's go ahead and address that. I'm going to close PowerShell because we'll need to reload it in order to get the new path settings. And so what we want to do is we want to go to uh, the environment variable area. Down here on the bottom, we're in System Properties, Advanced Tab, and Environment Variables. We want to click on Path, say Edit. We want to say New, and we want to enter in C colon backslash Program Files, Oracle, VirtualBox. Hit enter, say OK, and OK again, and one more time. And now, if we open up our PowerShell, we can type in VBox Manage, and it works now just the way it would work on a Linux or Mac OS system by default. So I hope you find this video useful. It's very short, but I will be referring back to this video in other VirtualBox uh, videos that cover VBox Manage, just so people have a frame of reference and can refer back to this and address the issue. Now why Oracle doesn't see the need to address this and make it a non-issue, handle it in the install, I have no idea. But that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.